Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. This is Rusty78609, and I'm out for a little drive this morning. I did a video yesterday uh, about my home base, and uh, yeah, and now we're going to talk about RVing and some ways that you might enjoy it more or whatever. Uh, having a home base like I had uh, in that video that I showed you yesterday for some of, for the both of you that watched it. Uh, that's you know you you can have a home base that you own but it's also you can have a home base that you rent like an rv park you know you can have a place like i've got where you basically rent it by the year and then come and go as you please uh, anywhere anytime you want to and that's kind of one way to do it and that's the way i'm doing it now and i, I have to tell you i like it because if you leave want to leave a few things there at the rv site as long as it doesn't look trashy you know uh, no one bothers it I mean, that's what's amazing. So anyway, we're just kind of out for a little cruise. I hope the camera's set up reasonably well. I probably, well, I don't want to bring it down too much. But one thing good about this, this is the LG G4. It doesn't focus on the hood. It, it's not smart enough, but the pixel's too smart. So uh, anyway, uh, what I'm, the, the purpose of this video is just to point out, you know, whenever you're RVing, one of the things that I have in common with all RVers most of them for sure is i like to travel i mean i like to see different things and you know like right now even out for a drive is fun so staying in one place for an extended period of time uh like even me at the rv park uh, i get the itch you know i mean i want to go somewhere so you know what i plan to do and what i have done is once a month or so is get up and go somewhere you know keep the old adrenaline going and and then as far as what I was going to do next summer, I mean, I was really checking on it, boy. I mean, I get on these binges and I do all kind of stuff. But I was going to rent a, a place, a spot at an RV park by the month, like in Silver City for one month, and then go up someplace in Arizona for a month, and then from Arizona back over to Capitan for a month, Capitan, New Mexico, and, you know, that sort of thing. But I really don't want to do that because, see, I'm going to have, I'm going to have, hopefully soon, a Class C RV, which is fully self-contained. It's got a 4,000-watt generator that runs off the gas tank and uh, uses about a half a gallon an hour, which right now is about a little over a dollar an hour. And, uh, you know, and if you run it six or seven hours a day, cost you, say, say it costs you eight bucks a day, uh, you know, that ain't bad. You know, that's cheaper than an RV park. Uh, by far and uh, it's cheaper than most camping but there's going to be days where you don't need to run it at all so then you're money ahead so that's the way that goes but you all it also enables you to be free you know uh, if you're in an RV park and you've paid the rent for a month uh, you, you feel obligated to be there for a month you know or at least I would and uh, I don't like that you know I, I want to be uh, we'll turn out of the sun in just a minute this road just s's all through the hill country here and yeah you know, so just hang on but yeah i just want to be free i mean because I, I thought about staying at the place in, in uh, at, at the mama bears in capitan and uh i've already talked to them about res reserving a spot for the summer or a month or two next summer and, but i'm gonna have to change that because i don't want to do that i mean i for some reason right at the end of last year or, or this, excuse me, uh, in May, actually April and May, uh, I was doing something that I enjoyed, and I didn't even realize it until I, you know, it's always in retrospect, you know, looking back, you kind of see, well, wait a minute, that was working pretty good. And But what I was doing was, is I was pulling my casita, and I would stay at Valley of the Fires a few days in New Mexico, state, uh, uh, excuse me, it's a Bureau of Land Management place uh, near uh, Carrizozo, and then I would go over to uh, Capitan, and the owner of that property that, that bought that spot for me allowed me to stay there a few days, and I'd stay there a few days. Of course, she had electric, which I had to have with the casita because I couldn't run the AC without it. But I had to go get water, which wasn't a problem. Water's never a problem, really, because you got a 12-volt pump. you got enough water to last you four, five, six days. And anyway, so and then I would go from there out to the BLM and so forth, and then I went boondocking a couple of times. And one of the problems I had then was the temperature would get up in the afternoon, start, starting around noon till about five or six o'clock, say six hours in there, it's pretty hot. 
So, but I couldn't run a, an air conditioner because I didn't have enough power to do it. I didn't have a generator or anything. But now with the Class C, with the 4,000 watt generator, I can go anywhere, anytime. And if I need the AC, I just turn it on. You got me? So that's how that's going to work. So I think I'm going to try that this uh, uh, next summer. So, but anyway, I just, the whole purpose of this video is just to, you know, stay loose. You know, it's such, but of course, you know, if you have an RV or a camping device or camping vehicle that you cannot run the air conditioner <clears throat> without shore power or without being hooked up to a 30 or excuse me, 110 volt, uh, then, uh, yeah, that, that makes it difficult because it's very hard. I know some people run 5,000 uh, watt or 5,000 BTU ACs using uh, solar and batteries, but it, that you got to have some batteries, a lot of batteries, a lot of solar. You do. I mean, I guarantee you do. And you got to have a lot of sunshine. <clears throat> but having said that, yeah, just stay flexible. I mean, I feel better being loose and free. And I was going to rent my old home base. And, and uh, fortunately or unfortunately, the uh, Class C uh, won't fit comfortably under the cover uh, there on, at my old home base. It, 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 I think I could make it fit, but the air conditioner would be just about touching the uh, top of the, uh, the uh, cover, and I'm sure it would be a little noisy when it cut on and so forth. And I didn't like the idea of having to be worried about backing in and out of there and, and damaging my brand new Class C. That just didn't appeal to me at all. So anyway, that's kind of a done deal now. I called the owner and said, no, we'll, I'll forget about that and we'll move on. And that's that. So, but RVing is a lot of fun. It's a way of life I've enjoyed for a number of years. And uh, the Class C is just another level or a different level. And the main change for me is having a full-time available generator. That's the biggest change. And, and uh, yeah, I've never been real fond of gasoline generators, but Class C's come with a built-in 4,000 watt generator, so you can run everything. And uh, you know they're not noisy. Well, they, you know it depends. You know, if, if you're out boondocking and it's just dead, no sounds at all, or you know quiet. And you crank up, even if, even though it's an RV generator that's as quiet as they can make them, I guess, uh, you'll hear it. Yeah, but I won't run it at night or after dark. I'll just run it when it's hot or where it's uncomfortable. As, as long as the temperature is below uh, 84, 85 and the humidity is low, I'm good. I can, I can get by with a fan and, and nothing. But it gets above that, it's a little uncomfortable. And, it, for, and then even at elevations of 6,500 feet, in June, July, and August, you'll find that it gets that warm. Yep, you got to get up to 7,500 feet and above to kind of get comfortable. But uh, you know, up in those elevations, you know, I, I, it doesn't seem to bother me. I mean, I was at Eagle Nest for a while last year, or excuse me, a few months ago, and uh, no, it didn't seem to bother me at all. You know, but having said all that, guys, enjoy your RVing your way. Don't worry about my way. And am I encouraging anybody to take up this uh, lifestyle? No, I'm just pointing out that for me, it's pretty damn good life. For you, I don't know. You may get out there and hate it. You know, I mean, I'm sure there are people that do, or, or you know, they're having little issues with it. Because you know, you get somewhere, you got insects, and I know I beat this old drum to death. But you know, you, you get biting flies, and you get the oh, the ones that really get you are the no seams. Ooh, those little irritating cedar gnats or whatever they label them no you, those are the ones that will drive you to drinking really quick of course for me it's a short drive you know because i could do beer 30 every single day that ends in y you can bet on that so guys enjoy your life enjoy it one day at a time and if you want to get you an rv and get out there and get with them as long as you've got your health or close and you are confident, you know, you're kind of a self-starter and independent type, well then it may be a way of life that you'll really enjoy. And you need to be kind of a semi-handyman in that you need to know how to use a screwdriver and pliers and 
duct taped and all that good stuff and uh, so you might be you can make some adjustments or fine tune your equipment whatever it happens to be but main thing guys is stay loose stay free i mean you know i don't like even this rv park but it's not bad i mean it's okay because you know the, the rates are not so high that it's uh you know it's on my mind all the time you know it's it's pretty economical it's a good location so yeah i don't mind paying for it while i'm traveling because it's not that bad because uh, i just like the fact that when i come back i've got a place to park and it gives me a, a, some predictability which i enjoy i do enjoy predictability i'm 75 and i like the fact that i know where to get gas know where to get groceries and then when i'm traveling in most places that i go to particularly around the Capitan, Carrizozo area. Yeah, I've got that nailed. Yeah, it's just like being home out there, Yeah. So anyway, with that in mind, guys, thumbs up, carpe diem, adios, bye-bye, buy anything you want. Use the Amazon link if you want to. Doesn't cost you a penny. Amazon takes care of me. Drink plenty of water, stretch, walk, take deep breaths, keep your health, whatever it takes. <clears throat> whatever it takes to keep your health because without your health, you ain't gonna do poo-poo anyway. So adios, amigos, bye-bye.